Hey guys, it's your buddy Rome. Today we're going to take a look at this um, holster that I got in from uh, SciTech. Now I did purchase this holster myself for a range day, possibly for uh, EDC. So let me show you guys what comes in the box. Very simple packaging. You're just going to get the holster itself. Now one of the things that I usually look for in a holster is, especially if it's something that's going to be uh, outside of the waistband, is this pad or some type of pad system that's going to allow for some type of comfort. I usually also check for the shape of the pad because that's going to give me an indication how well this is going to contour to the body. Now this one is adjustable. It has a little ratcheting system. I don't know how well you guys can see that. See if I can get a little bit closer. So you can adjust the cant on this. So if you wanted to adjust this forward or back, it's totally up to you. It does have a safety feature built into it which is this little uh, index finger depress, uh, depression button here. And that's going to be for your quick um, release of your weapon from this um, holster. Now there is some retention controls here. You have these two screws that you can use to adjust the uh, retention. This is a light bearing holster, so you will be able to run this uh, you know, with the uh, two different lights that they recommend for this. One is going to be your TLR1 or your TLR2. Those are the lights that are recommended for this holster. So if you're running one of those lights, you're going to be pretty much on par with exactly what you need. This is a very high quality um, uh, material that this is made out of. It feels like it was form but it's hard to tell. This isn't your normal Kydex holster, so this is a much higher quality. Uh, this, to me, feels like it would have a pretty good long run life. Now, one of the things that did concern me was the shelf that you guys see right here for your belt. This looks, to me, more like it's designed for a competition belt or a duty belt, something like that. Not as much as a everyday uh, type of belt that a person would wear, say an inch and a half belt. This might be a little bit of a problem because you know, you're going to have a lot of play in this area here when this would move up and down. But other than that, uh, I think this would be a great holster for a lot of people, especially, like I said, for range days. Um, this one is a right side, right hand holster. Uh, I do believe you can also get this in a left-handed uh, uh, orientation. But in a nutshell, uh, I'm going to be testing this out at the range. Uh, maybe I'll do another uh, video on this showing you guys how um, or giving you some insight on how I uh, feel about it over time. And this little screw that you guys can see in here, this is the one that you're going to loosen up to adjust the cant on this holster. All right, guys, it's been Rome with Rome Knows Tech. I just want to do a quick video to show you guys this holster and kind of give you my insight on how I plan on using it. So hopefully this video has been helpful to someone who's looking to purchase one of these holsters. If that's the case, then I feel like I've done my job. All right, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Peace. I am out.